Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Churches. Ready, set, go. Glasgow, Scotland, 2011. Independent musician Lauren Mayberry is working on an EP with her band, Blue Sky Archives. And producing this EP was a man by the name of Ian Cook. Following work on this EP, Cook recruited Mayberry for a new project he was working on with his friend and fellow musician, Martin Doherty. And after several months of writing sessions, the trio decided to officially form a new band they called Churches. Churches. Chiverches. Churches was an indie synth pop outfit consisting of Cook on synth and guitars, Doherty on synth and samplers, and Mayberry handling lead vocals as well as additional instruments. After releasing several singles and an EP throughout 2012 and the first half of 2013, the band had started to build up quite a bit of buzz, making appearances at South by Southwest and on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. And all of this then led to the band's first full-length album, The Bones of What You Believe In, released on September 20th, 2013. This album was received incredibly well by critics peaked at number 12 on the Billboard 200 and even spawned a moderate hit with its lead single, The Mother We Share. This record was then followed up on September 25th, 2015 with their sophomore album, Every Open Eye. Featuring a cleaner and more polished sound, Every Open Eye peaked at number 8 on the Billboard 200 and boasted fan favorite tracks like Leave a Trace and Bury It featuring Haley Freaking Williams of Paramore. And outside of their main two albums, Church's music has made several appearances in everything from TV shows, movies, and even video games. Most notably, the band was featured on the soundtrack for The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1, and they even co-wrote and performed the theme for one of my favorite games of 2016, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Today, in 2017, Churches is working on their third full-length album, which currently we know very little about. But considering the tireless dedication and consistent output that has typified the band's six-year-long career at this point, I think it's safe to say that Churches is only at the start of what will be a long, influential and successful career in the music industry. I really like this band, if you can't tell. Thanks for watching, guys. DFTBA.